can XRP realistically hit a dollar before the end of this year? Well, that's the question on everyone's mind right now. And with many believing that this SEC lawsuit is going to come to an end soon, I wanna talk about whether or not a $1 XRP is actually realistic and what I personally believe is gonna to happen to XRP after this lawsuit ends. So if you're curious about learning more about the situation, let it be known, I'm not particularly a big XRP fanboy, but I do think XRP can see a pretty nice pump if they win this lawsuit. And again, I wanna explain why in today's video. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you stick around. And if you do like the content that I make, all that I ask is that you hit the like button and you hit the subscribe button and feel free to ask any questions that you have in the comment section down below. Now, in order to answer this question, we have to take a look at both the fundamentals and the technicals of XRP because both are gonna play a big part in whether XRP can hit that big milestone of a dollar because that's what a lot of people are aiming for here. So let's address the fundamental side first. Because fundamentally, as soon as this lawsuit started, many US holders were forced to either transfer their XRP somewhere else or to sell it onto the market. Now, a lot of these US exchanges were forced to delist XRP as a result of this lawsuit. And so with this, the XRP community lost their primary method of buying XRP with a few exceptions here and there. So if XRP wins this lawsuit, or maybe a matter of when XRP wins this lawsuit, a lot of US exchanges are gonna look to relist XRP. Now, again, let it be known, I'm not particularly a big XRP fan, but I think that most of us can agree that these exchanges number one goal at the end of the day is to make money. And the XRP community is not only a passionate one, but it is a very big one because it's one of the largest cryptocurrencies out there. So if they can profit off of it, the odds are they're going to do it. So for the sole reason of making money, I believe that a lot of these exchanges are going to relist XRP. They're missing out on a lot of profit. Granted, they're kind of legally obligated to miss out on that profit right now. But I think if they had the choice, they would choose the extra revenue from trading fees that they would get from the XRP army. So if this happens, I, we've seen this happen actually a lot with a number of other exchanges. You look at Binance, you look at Coinbase, you look at Kraken. Whenever a cryptocurrency, large or small, gets added to any of these major exchanges, it almost always sees a pump in price. Now you add in that pretty much no one inside of the United States, unless they go an off-ramp avenue, can really get their hands on XRP and they've been eagerly waiting to on the sidelines for, I think it's almost been two years now, then I think, yeah, you know, again, whether you love it or you hate it, I think XRP is gonna see a fairly nice pump here. So now let's switch over to the technical side of things, because technically speaking, XRP has a big old resistance level at around 50 cents or so. Now this started all the way back in June of 2021, about two years ago. And what happened was XRP came down, used this as a bottoming point once, twice, actually three separate times here. And so every time XRP came down to this 50 cents level, it was a point of reversal where price immediately shot back up to the upside. But after XRP came through this floor, through this bottoming area of 50 cents, it immediately turned it from a bottoming point to a topping out point, AKA from a support level to a resistance level. And that's what we've seen for the past year or so on XRP, where it's come up to this 50 cents level, seen a big rejection a couple of times here, most recently back in March of this year. So with XRP getting back up to this 50 cents level, this is a level that the XRP community has to look out for. Now, the reason I say that it's possible for XRP to potentially get to a dollar here is because if this $1 resistance breaks, you look at the next major consolidation resistance, and that's gonna be up towards around 90 to 95 cents, where the previous top or the previous uh, swing high of XRP was. So yeah, if it breaks out of this consolidation zone, it is likely that it goes up close to a dollar. You add on top of that, maybe some of the fundamental stuff that we talked about, about XRP getting mass relisted across most US exchanges, I think that a breakout of the 50 cents resistance level paired with a combination of XRP getting relisted everywhere and it being re-legalized in the US, I think it is a realistic price prediction to see XRP go to a dollar. Now, is this going to be a sustained run where it goes from a dollar to two to three to four to five to six to seven and so on? I personally don't think so. 
I think that this SEC lawsuit is going to allow people to buy XRP in a quick bulk. I think it'll be a uh you know relatively short-lived pump i don't think it's going to be like an hour pump you know maybe it lasts for a couple of days as people are finally able to get their hands on some xrp but i do see xrp seeing a pretty nice pump for pretty much all of the reasons that i just mentioned in this video again the shattering of a major resistance line and then the mass relisting uh, across the us uh, you have to imagine it this way imagine that there was this new hot cryptocurrency that just came out and all of a sudden it gets listed on Binance, it gets listed on Coinbase, it gets listed on Kraken, KuCoin, you know, etc. All of a sudden people are going to be pretty excited about this. We just saw this happen a couple of weeks ago with Pepe and as soon as it was as soon as it was relisted or not relisted, as soon as it was listed on a lot of these major exchanges, the thing just shot up in value. I mean, it was dabbling from 10 million, 20 million, 50 million, 100 million and as soon as it was listed on the major exchanges, it went from a hundred million to a billion dollars in market cap really, really fast. Now, again, I know XRP is already over a billion dollars in market cap, but the same concept uh, applies, I think just on a slightly smaller scale here. So to answer the age old question, do I think it's realistic for XRP to hit a dollar before the end of this year? I think the answer is yes. If they win their lawsuit before the end of this year, and if they get relisted across most of the major US exchanges, I think that it's possible for XRP to hit a dollar before the end of this year. Now, again, I'm not a big XRP fan. So this is coming from someone who's not a fan of XRP. I'm just saying I recognize that there is profit potential. So coming from not a fundamental perspective about what they are doing, but coming from a trading perspective, I think that there is an area to profit here. Now, with that being said, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not anyone's financial advisor. Nothing I say here is legal, financial, or tax advice in any way. Simply just me sharing my thoughts on how this could all end, you know, if this all season end before the end of this year. So it's been a hot topic. I've seen a lot of people talking about whether XRP can do this stuff, what XRP is going to do. There seems to be a lot of mixed opinions on it. And so I just wanted to give my thoughts as someone who does not own any XRP and I really don't plan to. So let it be known, I have nothing to profit off of this video. I don't own any XRP. I don't plan to own any XRP, but I do think that there is a profit opportunity. So, you know, maybe if I can get my hands on some, I'll try to buy some before the, before the lawsuit ends, but I'll probably sell it very shortly afterwards. So that's gonna wrap up this video, everyone. I hope you all did find value. If you did, again, all that I ask is that you smack the like button, you smack the subscribe button, and if you want more content just like this one, make sure you stick around because we have another video coming out this Friday. So that's gonna wrap us up. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.